Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to talk about the XPG Spectrix D60G RAM. It's a DDR4 RAM. This is 8GB uh, times 2 with 32MHz. The lowest is 3200MHz. This is a CL162020 uh, spec regressing to clocking. It supports mostly all of the RGB control motherboards. Uh, if you don't get this kind of stuff on the other boards you can just install rgb fusion you can just install any other software then you can control it because i have my nzxt built and using an nzxt motherboard i just installed this software and then it works so not to worry about that so this is the ram it's pretty lightweight because of it's using plastic this is a certain kind of plastic you get on led lamps and here you can see, you might be wondering this, isn't this still? It is. This logo is like uh, also made of metal. And it will get toasty at times when it comes to RGB. And this one will lit up all the time. And of course it's going to produce some heat. And this is the only reliable heat sink that this RAM can use. And here guys, this is an example of you know usage i probably scratched this part with the ram when i wanted to take it out or something like that or probably some of my nail it would cost that so in terms of durability it's not the best uh it is uh, fragile in terms of the metal piece here and you can see here the logo is stick on that pretty good we can see the line here the crest uh, probably they install it this way to clip and then slide it in to the RAM and here you can see the pockets of holes it's just floating and just clicking it right over here to the PCB to get the lighting mechanism to work and this is some stickers and this is going to be the position that you're going to normally place they wouldn't show the sticker of course and it will be this way done so when you do this both of the logo can be uh, touched easily and yeah so right now we're going to install the ram so this is my viper 16 gigabyte per stick ram running at 3200 megahertz of RAM at 16 gigabyte per stick. This costs around 399 ringgit. Pretty expensive for its price, but it looks really, really nice. You can see that. So I have two, so totaling up at 32 gigabytes. Now we're gonna place in this RAM inside. So this is the default color they're going to show up, a rainbow effect. And if I put in blue. Prefer in white. Alright, I'm going to switch off the lighting here. So for you guys to see so that's better so we're going to go to for orange that's orange yellow uh, light blue light blue looks cool seriously dark blue or a little bit of magenta that looks cool too like purpley magenta oh, so you can do pulse uh, pulse at this color Looks good. It wouldn't drain the whole RGB lifespan. If I switch this on, what would happen? How would it look like? Looks cool. If it's all blue, yeah, it looks good too, guys. I mean, white looks good. I mean, white looks good. So, in terms of brightness, you can control this uh, brightness at static. 
for example, I'm going to lower it down this way. This is the lowest. Let's switch this off again. So I'm going to go down the brightness and go up. It doesn't change. That's weird. Normally it changes. Huh. Okay. That's weird. So now we're going to go to um, default. Let's default is like the the nice rainbow effect thing. But in this case, we're going to make it white because I like white and false. Give it a pulse. A pulse white. Pulse white is awesome. How about switching it on? It's pretty dope. You can see that the stick number one and two it goes one two, one two like that. So it looks good. And yeah, I'm satisfied with the quality of the RAM. Okay, when we go for sync mode, so both of them are highlighted in this uh, box. So now I can change to whatever color I want so both are going for white and if I want to go for pulse but the board and the RAM pulse together which looking awesome so we're gonna go for color cycle color cycle so color cycle it will change color together that's it it's not that boring I mean, I'll go for white still.